all of us know how dearer equality as a non-negotiable principle to both Chawla Nehru and Baba Sahib Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. I would like to just reflect on what are the serious threats to this non-negotiable value of equality. From where are these threats coming from? I see clearly these threats are coming from all the four corners. Threats to equality today are coming from all the four corners. Firstly, this threat is coming from the society itself because I see clearly the growing indifference to inequality in the society. The sensitivity to equality in the society is coming down. That is the reason as why even if there is a news item that Dalit children in a school in Tamil Nadu are forced to bear a colored thread to their wrist, it doesn't bother the society. Even if there is, there is a news item that Dalit children are segregated and made to sit separately in the Anganwadi centers and the schools, it doesn't bother the society. Even if there is a news that two Dalit children are brutally murdered by setting them fire, there may be a fear over for a day or two, but after that it is forgotten. Why it is happening? I think society as a whole is becoming indifferent to inequalities. That is something that we need to ponder. The second threat to the inequality, in my opinion, is largely coming today from the present regime at the center. Because the present regime at the center doesn't tolerate discussions, doesn't tolerate dissent, doesn't encourage consultations. This attitude of the center is, in my opinion, is another threat to equality because unless you believe others, unless you believe the value in others, you will not be able to really promote the value of the equality. The third threat to the idea of equality, all of us know, has always been there and it will be there as long as caste system persists in our country. Because the very caste system is based on the notion of inequalities, graded inequalities. As long as the caste system exists, I really see no hope of ending the inequality in the society. Why? Because the caste system gives a kind of mindset to legitimize the inequalities. So, I think time has come for us to reopen the whole debate Baba Sahib Dr. Ambedkar has started on annihilation of caste. Though this country since independence has engaged on a number of complicated issues in discussion, for some reason I found the discussion on annihilation of caste is not taking place. Time has come to open up the discussion and then see how we annihilate the caste. The last threat from the equality Kali Kali. issue is coming from people like you and me, educated, the media. Because the way we assess a government of a particular day has always been based on how much growth the government has promoted, how much GDP they have contributed to, how much infrastructure they made, how much employment they provided. But the questions as how many Dalits have been assisted to enter the universities, how many poor people have been assisted to enter into a job market, how much of access provided to the poor 
to the roots of development these questions are not raised the governments are not assessed based on those questions and we also have really no clarity as to what is the depth of inequality between the marginalized sections and the rest of the society and various parameters there is no discussion there is no effort to collect the data there is no effort to raise these questions so friends i feel that unless we are conscious of the threat to the inequality conspiring from all the four corners we will not be able to really address this greatest challenge before us this seminar is about agenda of action it is not a mere academic discussion i would like to place before you two agenda points for action one i think charity begins at home all the political parties have to demonstrate how they believe in equality by giving space in all the political decisions in all the positions of power within the party and outside to all the sections of the society today i don't think that any political party in this country can confidently say that they have provided the space to the marginalized sections they have provided space to the voiceless in positions of power or in the decision making forums commensurate to their population i think that change has to start in the political parties in the first instance the second agenda for action my opinion is the most tangible positive element in the equality which will go on way is to ensure that every child in this society in india has similar access to quality education today that is not the case the the kind of education a child gets depends on the kind of money he is able to invest unless there is a change in that unless as a nation we take a pledge to provide quality education to every child in respect of the child's economic and social background there is no way where we will be able to achieve the ultimate goal of equality and what is our track record of last seven decades in the in this goal of achieving equality i must say the track record is very good we have another three decades to go before we complete 100 years of independence i'm sure that as a nation as a political party we shall focus on this value of equality do everything that is possible so that by 2047 we all shall proudly proclaim that india is a country where equality is not negotiable and it is a cornerstone for our development thank you very much